Hello and welcome to the video for Thursday, April the 16th for third grade. This is going to cover the homework from lesson 10.5, not to be confused with lesson 9.5 that I accidentally put on the Google form. So here we go. Um, we are working with elapsed time doing problem solving. And so I'm going to explain what I would do and I'm going to give you the answer and then I will leave it up to you um, to determine whether or not what you did will work for you. So we could use a number line for this. I'm going to give you some strategies that kind of combine adding our numbers together and working with this. So you could, if you are comfortable enough, do all of these using mental math um, without having to do this. So I'm going to give you kind of a bridge to get from here to here. So number two, we are starting with an end time of 6 p.m and we are trying to count backward to figure out what time Katie started practicing the flute. So to start with, what I would do personally is to add these two numbers together, which would give us 45 plus 15, which is 60, which takes us backward one hour. And then we can add our 30 minutes to that and count backward 30 minutes. So what I would do is if I were making my timeline, I would say this is my end time. I count backward an hour to get to 5 p.m. And then I have to go backward another 30 minutes. So if I do uh, 5, <clears throat> minus 30 minutes, I can know that that is going to give me 430. Or I could go ahead and do this where I am taking away from here and changing our hour to four. I'm adding uh, 60 minutes here or six groups of 10. And so that would give me six, 60 minutes minus 30 minutes. Um, so our total time is 430. Um, if you are comfortable enough with counting backward, um, take your hour here, count backward an hour to get to 5 p.m and then you can count backward 30 more minutes and that it would give us 430 for the answer. Number three, um, we're getting out of school at 225. We want to figure out um, after going through all this list of things, what time he will finish doing his homework. So if he gets out at 225, this one we can count forwards. Um, I don't have a good way to easily get to an hour mark. Um, either by adding any of these together to get 60 minutes um, or by adding, taking any of these numbers to get from 25 minutes after the hour to the top of an hour. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and count forward. So pretend that this is my number line and I can do 25 plus 15. So 225 would go up to uh, 240. Then I need to add 30 more minutes. So that's going to give me uh, 50, 60, 10, if I'm counting by tens. Um, and I'm just going to kind of give you an abbreviated version of this. That would get me to 310, counting by tens three times. And then I'm going to have 55 more minutes. So I know that I can count forward 50 minutes from here to get to 4 o'clock. So I could do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That gets me to four o'clock. And then I add my five minutes and that's gonna give me to my end time, which should be 4.05 p.m. Okay, so with this one, what you could do is go ahead and add all of this up. So I could do 15 um, plus 30, to get to 45 minutes, 45 plus 55 gives me 100 minutes. If I know that 100 minutes is going to be an hour plus a certain amount, I could break it up into 60 plus 40, and I know it's going to be an hour and 40 minutes. Now, that one does not help as much, but I know I could count forward the hour, and that would get me to 325, and then I could count by tens and that would get me all the way around to 4.05 p.m. So 
once you're much more comfortable with doing this one, um, that is the way that I would end up doing it, um, is I would total up the number of minutes, get break my hour out, and then count forward uh, from the amount that's left over. Um, probably not what everybody's going to want to do. This is one that I would definitely recommend you use the number line for. Um, so number one and two on the back, um, hopefully these match. Uh, I know in the last lesson, what I had for number one with the basketball time ended up having to explain how many minutes were in an hour and counting by 60 minute increments. Um, and I found out that the number one problem uh, for, the, for, one, for that lesson ended up being a situation uh, where uh, you guys had different numbers on the paper than what I had on the online version of the assignment. So apologies for that. Um, so hopefully this works out. If it doesn't work out again and you have different numbers, please let me know um, in Google Classroom. Uh, thank you to Lexi that let me know that that uh, number one on that previous assignment was horribly different uh, than what was on her paper. So uh, number one on the back, we have 50 minutes shopping, then lunch for 30 minutes. So I could add these up to get 80 minutes. If we arrived at 11 a.m., 60 minutes is going to give me my hour. So I could have 60 plus 20 to get to 80. I'm going to add my hour. So that's going to get me to um, 12 noon, which would be 12 p.m., plus 20 minutes. And that would give us 12.20 p.m. And number two. We, the game begins at 2 p.m., spends 30 minutes to get to the park. At what time should uh, Ying leave home to get to the game 30 minutes before it starts? That means we are going to have to add both of these times because we don't want to get here at 2. We want to get here at 1.30. Um, so that would be that this half hour, we count backward another 30 minutes for the time that it would take to get there. So if he wants to get there 30 minutes before the game starts, he would have to leave an hour before the game starts, and that would be 1 p.m. So hopefully that makes sense. This is probably a little bit longer video um, than it needed to be um, just for the sake of those four answers, but I wanted to kind of explain my thought process um, with that. So apologies for how long it took. Uh, if you have any questions, because the way I explained it didn't make sense, especially for that second one, uh, problem number three, um, please feel free to post a comment in Google Classroom and I'll be happy to kind of talk you through uh, what I was thinking with that. So hope you have a great day. We will have another call tomorrow uh, from 11 to 1 uh, that is open to everyone that it will be a day that you do need to check in with me even if you are not on the call. So thank you to everyone that, that came in today um, to visit and socialize and uh, it was a wonderful time and hope you all have a great day. I will talk to you tomorrow.